I love Google Arts and Culture. Love it. Like a lot of people, I've been using it for my own viewing pleasure and enrichment, but also for my students in my social studies classroom. Um, the Google Arts and Culture had a feature I loved. Under Favorites, I used to be able to create my own galleries. But what you may find now is if you log in, you may not have galleries there. I found that some of my older accounts where I used to use this, it's there, but in the newer accounts, it's not there anymore. And galleries were a way to share with students. So what I thought I would do today is to show you a workaround. It's rather simple, a way to use um, a gallery type feature, but instead using a Google site. So I opened a simple Google site, gave it a flashy title. I know it's exciting. And now I'm gonna grab a couple pieces of art and show you how it works. So for example, let's go to Starry Night one of my faves. Uh, one thing I love about this shameless plug for Google Arts and Culture is the zoom feature that lets me slide right in and I can see those brush strokes after it clears up. I mean, talk about making it tangible and an intimate understanding of the art. I just love it. But I digress. Sorry. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down here to this copy um, um, link button. Just click it, throws it on my clipboard, go back to my site, little double click a -roo. And then right here, I'm going to click embed and paste. And here I can see the thumbnail, click insert. So now I have Starry Night embedded right there um, on um, my gallery site that I'm creating. Let's create one more so that we have a couple to look at side by side. Um, in this case, I'll grab a, a 3D picture of Edinburgh Castle, which um, is is fantastic, by the way. This is a Google Arts and Poly project. You can tell because it's three-dimensional. So once this comes in, I'll be able to spin the castle and look at it. Um, this might be one of the augmented reality ones as well. I think it is. I'm going to go ahead and grab it and have a little faith in what I can't see, and that's that it will load up once we move forward. So let's grab this link here. Head back to our site. Do another paste. Oops. I'm double-clicking for that little circle to pop up. I could also use the features on the side, of course. And there's the castle. Sweet. Okay, so this is my arts and culture project. So it's a gallery page that I just created. I could put a title here, title here. Yeah, pretty awesome, right? Title here, perfect. Um, and then um, looking at some other options here. Well, you know, I can add another layer. You know, Google Sites is a really cool tool. It's it's pretty basic, but the things you can do with it are, are pretty impressive because it looks so clean. Um, I could publish my site. You know, call this you know Micah's site. I'm really about creativity today, right? Love these names, naming conventions. Um, can't have the uh, apostrophe in there, of course. Silly Micah, I'm gonna go ahead and publish this. Um, now it's gonna give us a, a publishable view. And I, I really wanna show you what that looks like, the final view of this. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the view the published site. And let's take a look together at uh, what this Google site version of a Google Arts and Culture gallery is gonna look like. So. Scrolling down here, you know, here's my Starry Night, little Van Gogh action. Brings us back there, zips us back. You notice it opens a new tab. Love that for the breadcrumb trail factor. You know, I can have my students close this tab and it will bring them right back to where they were. Click on Edinburgh Castle. This is a, that 360 um, LiDAR type scan. Takes a minute to load because it's uh, such a heavy, uh, heavy file size. Oh, here it is. So here's Edinburgh Castle can spin that around. I mean, that's pretty cool. I love that. Very cool. All right. So I hope you enjoyed that. Remember, you know, with Google uh, Sites, you have the ability to do um, publishing within your domain. So you can keep it for your students. You can also, of course, make it a public site. Uh, I've done both with students with uh, varying successes. Um, it's fun to see collaboration with Google Sites. You know, you can share this. Students can start adding each other to this you know, and a remote or asynchronous workflow, having students work on one page of a site at a time can be really powerful, can be really uh, useful for uh, increasing productivity where you create multiple pages and a student is responsible for that one page. So well, there's a lot there. I'm sure you know that, but I thought I would share this little hack with you. So thanks for watching my um, how to do Google Arts and Culture Galleries without Google Arts and Culture Galleries. See ya.